Hi, this is Karen Fabian, founder of Bare Bones Yoga, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to do a pose called Upward Facing Dog. Upward Facing Dog is a great backbend, and all backbends share the quality of opening up your hips, stretching muscles in the front of the body that are tight from sitting or running or cycling, um, driving long distances in the car, back and forth every day to work perhaps. So all of these muscles here, which are running from the back of your body to the front, can get really, really tight. And upward dog is a great way to stretch those. It's also a great way to build upper body strength. And it's an integrative posture, meaning that you use both your upper body and your lower body to create the bend in the spine. So let me show you how to do it. Starting from your belly, bringing your hands flat to the floor, and hugging your elbows in towards your body. One of the things that's important is to stack your elbows over your wrists. Many times people try to press up with the hands in front of the elbows and the leverage just isn't there and the lower back takes a lot of the strain. But when you set your hands up so that your elbows are over your wrists, what you'll find is that you've got more leverage because your joints are stacked one over the other. Pressing into the tops of your feet, pressing into your hands at the same time, begin to lift up. Once you're up, set your gaze forward. Sometimes students will lift their head and that can create some strain on the neck. So just look straight ahead, squeeze into the arms and legs, and try to draw the crown of the head up as you push the shoulders down the back. Now having said that, if you're working with very tight hips or maybe you've had some issues with lower back strain or pain or you've had some surgery, you may not have as much mobility in the spine. So the way to adjust is not to come up as high. Again from the belly, coming up halfway or even coming into a modification where the forearms are on the ground can also decrease some of the pressure on the low back while allowing you to work the integration, squeezing into the arms and legs, drawing the heart forward. In this pose here, you're actually pulling the elbows in towards the body as you're pushing the heart forward. So there's some work happening here. There's just not as much strain on the lower back. So for upward dog, setting the hands, pressing into the tops of the feet and the palms, shoulder blades in, gaze straight ahead. For a modification, coming up halfway or placing the forearms on the floor and pressing up. This pose is a wonderful way to open the heart as well, open the chest all the muscles around the collarbones, which tend to get very short the more we hunch over the computer. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit my website and send me an email, barebonesyoga.com. Thank you.